Rise and grind, whack fam. I can't even say that with a straight face. I am up working on a blog post. Did y'all know I was coming up with a blog? Like so many things I wanna do and wanna talk about. One of the main things I wanna do and one of the main things that a lot of people ask for is more details surrounding my meal preps, exactly what my macros are, exactly the recipes to all of the things that I make. And so I'm really making an effort to put that somewhere that you guys can access it and that's gonna be on my blog. So I wrote down that my goal for the week is just to finish one blog post, because to be honest, writing is not my thing, okay? That's why I make videos, because I don't like to write, so. So I set a small goal, one that is very achievable, but that will make a big impact on my productivity, and that's what I'm doing. I'm definitely working out today, I'm definitely having a zip fizz, so I'm gonna get back to this. I probably have about another hour before it's time for me to start working out, and I'll check in with you then. Okay guys, it is time for me to uh, get ready to work out. Today I am doing Les Mills Body Combat again. I don't really know when I will not be doing that. Like, it's literally just so much fun. Like, I normally do the 30 minute workouts, but this past Sunday I did the 60 minute workout just because I had the time. I was like, you know what? I have more time, there's no reason I shouldn't do the longer workout. And I was thinking, I was worried. I was like, oh man, I'm used to the 30 minute workout. And I mean, that basically kills me. So like, am I going to dread the 60 minute workout? And so I just let the thing play and I could tell where they skipped some songs for the 30 minute workout and they just extended the whole thing for the 60 minute. Turns out, I love the skip tracks even more. Like, I was like, oh my God, these are like almost even more fun than the ones I normally get to do. So I, um, I mean, I just, I love that exercise. And it's the same video too. They have like literally 80 different body combats and I do the same one over and over again because I love it. But the good news is when I get sick of it, there's like 79 more for me to choose from. So I cannot say enough good things about Les Mills body combat. I'm gonna do that in a little bit, but what I'm gonna do right now is shake my zip fizz. Today we have, bam, oh, fruit punch. Oh, it's a classic fruit punches. Absolutely, I'm not gonna lie. I will be looking forward to rouletting a blueberry raspberry one of these days soon. Haven't had that in a while and I miss it, but fruit punch will do. Got my hashtag wax wag. Oh yeah, absolutely. All right guys, let's shake it in three, two, one. <laughs> to staying consistent. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, fruit punch, fruit punch, all day, every day, mm-hmm. I was this close from being like blueberry raspberry who? But like, no, I mean, blueberry raspberry is still great, but I mean, so is this. This is awesome. Milton, sit. Milton, sit. Sit. Right here. Sit. Milton, sit. Good boy. That took way too long, Bubby. Hi, Maddie Princess. Oh, my sad puppy girl. Why are you so sad, Maddie? I love you. I'll give you some food if you want. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Or do that. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. I got to talk quick because this taco bowl is looking so good that I want to eat it right now. Okay. We have our base layer of ground beef. Then we have some crushed up pork rinds. I got the hot and spicy kind from Meyer. Then we have some shredded cheese. And then I've topped it with some sour cream lettuce and some fire sauce uh, from Taco Bell and some jalapenos, like, oh my gosh. And see the size of this bowl, like, I mean, volume on a trillion right now, and I am here for it. Okay, let me try to mix everything together, get a bite of everything. Oh, the bottom of the bowl is so hot because of the meat. Okay, but I need to get some of the meat. Oh my God, that's what she said. Okay, this bite is messy, but it's gonna be great. Oh my God, like, the meat, with the pork rinds right on top, but the lettuce on top of it made kind of like a, a steam basket or something. Now the pork rinds are all like chewy, like, oh my goodness. Oh my God. Okay, I'm eating a bunch of random stuff this week, so I'll be back several more times to show you what they are, but I'm gonna kill this. The sour cream. 
Okay guys, I am back following that delicious taco bowl. I am now moving on to like a snack situation, if you will, a snack situation. This is about 25 grams of the coconut cream keto brick. I literally just cut it up into pieces that look like little rocks. And so, mm, I'm just gonna eat it. To be honest, even though I love coconut and I have really also loved the other flavors of keto brick, this is not my favorite by any means. It has a decent enough coconut flavor, but it just turns really weird and, and bitter toward the end. All that to say, I don't hate it. I'm gonna eat it. It provides like 160 calories to my macros for the day, but the macros are on point. It's just, I wouldn't buy this again. And then I'm having these live wraps with just a schmear of cream cheese. These are the Chipotle live wraps that I got from Switch Grocery. I had them for the first time at KetoCon. Of course, I got the Chipotle, which is a little bit spicy, which is why I loved it so much. But they just paired it with regular cream cheese and it was amazing. So I wanted to do that myself this week. Even though it's quite tough, I actually really love the texture of these wraps. Although I would never use them as a wrap because I kind of feel, you know, once you fold them and try to make a circle out of them, that they kind of just break apart. You could probably crisp them up for a chip, but like I like eating them raw because they're kind of chewy. We all know how I feel about tough, chewy things. I love them if you don't know. Mmm. Yeah. Crumbly almost. I don't know what this texture is like, but I love it. I think that's why it goes so well with the cream cheese because the cream cheese is creamy and smooth and this is not that. All right guys, closing out the day with a few snacks. We got some cello whisks. These are just cheese chips basically. Uh, this is Parmesan, this is cheddar. I got these from Costco, these individual bags. It's just crunchy cheese and that is amazing. But what's even more amazing and what I'm even more excited to show you are these chocolates that I made with the Lee's Brown Butter Ghee Heavy Whipping Cream and that Preferred Keto Chocolate Collagen. You guys, this is unlike anything I have ever seen before. It's just like a square, I'm not, see, I'm not sure if you can see the texture, but like it's frozen, but it's not hard. It's still creamy. It's solid, but melty. It's not crunchy, it's chewy, it's amazing. I mean, if you put this in a popsicle mold, it can 100% be a fudge pop. Oh my God. It tastes like a chocolate Werther's original. Like it's like a caramel. It's crazy. It has to be like the elasticity from the collagen. And I have a Zevia, so I'm gonna have a Zevia right now. And then probably like, you know, way later on in the evening, I'll probably have some Jello and one of those ice drinks. But this is amazing. To make an individual serving, two tablespoons of ghee, two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, one scoop of chocolate collagen protein powder. That's it. Mix it up freeze it and there you have it somebody please try this and let me know what they think like this is amazing okay guys i got a couple of hours worth of meetings so to get me through i'm having some jello so i'm gonna sit at my desk and eat these do some work then i'll be back for another zevia and then probably one of those ice drinks a little later okay guys from one job to the next i finished working my software job but I have to head to the shop right now because we have an owner's meeting at 7 p.m. because that's pretty much the only time everyone is available. I did drink another Zevia in the afternoon just to have something to drink. I'll probably have an ice drink when I get home just to close out the night. Also, I've been trying something else that I really liked, so I will hip you to that when I get back. I'm going to see my sister. She'll probably want to be on the camera. <laughs> Hello, now we're here. You're blocking Courtney's head. Oh, sorry, my she, bad. The, Okay, Have everybody. They no, they haven't met Courtney. Everybody, Hi. I mean, this is our third business partner. We own the shop together. This is my sister. You we, know yeah, me. Yeah, everybody you knows her. You know me. Yeah, so we're about to have this a- Courtney. Yay, I know, right, no isn't problem. she? Exactly. I'll isn't she say. so stylish? Look at this, look at this. My but, goodness, you could tell yeah. I don't perform a service. I am not in this industry at all. You don't have no excuse. I was like, you. <laughs> she <laughs> caught a 5.30 a.m. fight. You're right, yeah. you're right. Yeah, you're right. Okay, well, yeah, we're about to meet, and then I'm going home. Okay, bye. Okay, guys, as usual, I stayed at the shop for way too long, and now I'm back home, and I am going to have not only my Meyer drink, 
but also as a late night snack, I guess if you will. I've been having these zesty hot dill zingers and like they hit the spot. I feel like this is a great snack to have uh, in substitution of jello or something when I don't really want something super sweet, but you get a lot of punch and a lot of flavor for not a lot of calories or carbs. I mean, yeah, literally zero calories, zero fat, one gram of carbs. So it has to be about like four calories and zero protein. I mean, these are tiny and delicious and they're hearty. So you really only need one or two. So I'm gonna enjoy this and call it a night. Overall, today was awesome. I mean, I have a lot of variety built into my meal prep this week and I'm really enjoying it. I'm also glad to be using up a lot of the products that I have. So using up those live wraps, using up those pork rinds and those cello wisps and my keto bricks. Like I just had a lot of stuff and I'm glad I was able to incorporate it into my meal prep for this week. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and recipe. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks and I'll see you next week.